Hello and welcome back to the ASR channel. My name is Elkan Wiersma and today I'd like to share with you how I get my uh, reference photos. Because uh, obviously, obviously there are a few um, ways to get your reference photos, but uh, there are also some things you might consider, well I think you do co have to consider them because um, you may end up, uh, come up, uh, uh, run across some sort of surprises you don't like because you need to have the permission for uh, using reference photos and especially when you are selling your artwork. So therefore uh, I thought it would be fun to uh, make this uh, topic and to share with you how I do it, how I uh, find my reference photos and all that kind of fun stuff. So you may uh, end up uh, finding a few nice ideas uh, for, uh, for yourself and uh, getting your uh, reference photos. So uh, I have a little few notes here so I don't forget uh, things because I think it's very important to uh, cover this uh, subject uh, very well. And uh, first of all, of course, there are some pay sites. You have to, there are some sites you can go th uh, to and you can get your reference photos there but you have to pay for them. And I will have a, uh, a link in the video description, maybe a few, but uh, especially the, uh, a link to um, wildlife reference photos. I sometimes use that uh, site because they have the amazing photos and because uh, all of the uh, wildlife we don't have here in the Netherlands so uh, sometimes I use that site to get those um, nice photos. This reference uh, didn't came from uh, that site but I will talk that about it uh, in a minute. But uh, yeah, but obviously you do have to pay uh, for, uh, that, uh, for those photos and to uh, earn the right to sell your artwork and to uh, use that uh, reference photo. Um, but we don't always have the money or don't want to spend the money to get good reference photos. So therefore I came up uh, with a uh, plan for myself how to get a reference photo and be free to use them. And be free to sell your artwork and sell uh, postcards you make from your artwork for example or prints or basically anything you do with your artwork. Because if you are using a photo and you didn't make that photo for yourself, it is um, you have um, to consider the copyright issues. Even though it is uh, made by someone else who isn't a professional photographer, you have to have the permission to use that photo. So, therefore, I like to use uh, I like to use I like to uh, ask uh, friends and. Um, Maybe not uh, not only friends. I also uh, ask uh, people who are uh, doing it for a hobby, but making uh, very very nice photographs. And I know them f um, most of them in real life, or I came across them uh, on online, and I did uh, some research and find a website of them. Or some friends of mine know somebody who makes uh, photos and they think they uh, it will suit me. So therefore, I try to make a sort of um, network uh, of uh, people who make photos and um, are willing to um, share those photos with me as a reference. But like I said, there are a few things, a very important things to consider if you do that. First of all, you need to have the permission. That is obvious, uh, very obviously. Uh, for me now, but when I started painting I didn't uh, think about that, but you need have to have the permission and get that in writing somehow. Um, basically everything is now online, so they uh, you can get a message from that photographer uh, through Facebook for example, and um, but you have to have it in writing. So if they write it down that they are uh, willing to um, prevent you with reference photo or you are uh, free to use all their photos just copy that uh, message where they are explaining that they are uh, willing to uh, let you use uh, for free the, uh, their photos. Just copy that uh, print screen for example and save it at, uh, at your computer because maybe they say uh, they, that they are okay with it now when you are uh, for example a starting artist but uh, just imagine after 10 years of painting and you are maybe uh, earlier on but you are getting very famous and they notice that and they notice that you are selling a lot of artwork also some artwork you, where you used some reference photos from them you may end up with uh, some surprises but because you didn't have it in writing and they can claim that you didn't ask them but even, you, uh, even uh, though you did you have a problem you have no uh, evidence of that you have a um, agreement on that you were um, that they allowed you to use their reference photos. 
So get that in writing, make a print screen and save it on your computer because it's very, very important. I cannot stress that enough because there may be one day that you will get in some troubles or some misunderstanding or some miscommunications uh, and you always have proof that you did have that agreement with that photographer. That is the first thing. The second thing is, uh, what I did mention uh, a bit earlier on, is that maybe you are making prints, for example, or postcards from your artwork. I also always ask if they are uh, okay with that, that I can sell my artwork and that it is okay, that I make prints from it, um, put photos from my artwork online on my website, because and that is very important to include in that uh, message as well. So you need to have that also in writing so they never ever can claim it, uh, you for uh, not asking them. You always have it in writing. It's so important. I didn't do it in the beginning. I just uh, grabbed some photos from Google and uh, now I have some paintings I cannot share, I cannot sell. Uh, yeah, I can hang them in uh, my living room and that's all. Uh, because I didn't ask for it, I just basically only used them for practice and now they ended up um, more uh, nicer than I thought in the beginning and now I don't can do a thing with them. So to provide yourself from that, just uh, keep that in mind and just ask the photographer. And of course there are also some uh, free online uh, websites where you can get your reference photos. But the thing about that is that sometimes they change the rules. And you may not notice it, you just uh, get used to, for example, on Pixabay. I don't think Pixabay changed the rules, but just um, for a example. If they change it overnight and you are not allowed to use it uh, for free anymore, or if you have to may maybe uh, do a, a sort of link in your um, uh, descriptions when you are sharing your um, artwork online, you may consider that because they can change it. I don't know if you already... Um, before the change you did get that photo, you may be alright, but maybe not, I don't know. So therefore I always make a print screen uh, if I use a photo from uh, Pixabay where it says on the side that uh, I am free to use it. There is no uh, uh, copyright issue on that and um, I also save that um, as well just in case. And uh, like they say, you better uh, be safe to be sorry. So therefore keep that in mind, just make print screens of every evidence you have and I think you will be safe. I'm not an expert on this, but this is how I do it. And also if you are um, getting some uh, photos from uh, Pixabay, I always check the, the person that is uh, putting up that photo. And I'm checking them by, for example, if they put up more photos and if that those photos make sense, if, the, if I never saw those photos before on other sides, and if they are way too, well, way too nice, but if they are way too professional, maybe in some sorts, it, I know it's, it sounds a bit, a bit strange, but if you have some feeling from, uh, from um, of getting a feeling that this may be a very professional photographer, there is a chance that the person who uploaded the photo isn't the original photographer of the photo. So keep that in mind because you may end up with a problem with all those problems and that person that uploaded uh, not have, having any problems. But so yeah, I hope that makes sense. Just to always try to be as safe as you can as, because this is a very, very important subject. And uh, I didn't cover it um, earlier on on my channel, but I thought it would be nice to cover it now because it's, it's so important to do it well. So, and I have a little uh, extra for uh, getting your reference photo because maybe you notice I always refer to my website in the end of my tutorials, uh, at least of my uh, last tutorial, my newest uh, tutorials. Uh, I try to upload as many things on my website uh, if I make a new artworks of that that kind of fun stuff, but I uh, did include a new section on my uh, website and that section is named uh, Reference Photos. I did a, a little description uh, also uh, above the photos there uh, because I uh, give those photos to you if, you if you like them. You may uh, use them for your artworks and I only, I only provide them for artists. I know it's hard to check but I just want to give you guys the ability to use those photos. And um, so therefore you can check my website, go to my uh, reference photos section on my website and you will find them there. At this moment I 
most of them are flowers. I do include, I have some nice animal uh, pictures. I have uh, Shetland ponies and I have Regent horse. Horse is so, um, well actually one horse, but um, my, uh, the other horse is for my father. But if I make some photos of them, I will include them as well. Maybe if I go to the zoo and make some uh, nice photos there, I will include them also there. So you know, once in a while you may check that uh, my website and you are uh, free to use those photos as a reference as a guideline for your project and if you do it um, you don't have to do it but I really would uh, appreciate it when you include um, a tag or something that I can check your artwork because I'm really cu curious what you are making from uh, those photos but uh, yeah those are free and I hope to make it a little bit easier this way to uh, for you guys to get a uh, nice reference photos so uh, like I said check uh, check my website and you will find them there uh, if you have any questions or maybe you have some suggestions, may you, uh, maybe you do it uh, in a different way, uh, getting your reference photos, please leave it in the comment section below because I think that can be very beneficial for all of us, not only for me, but all the people who are watching this uh, tutorial and uh, watching my channel or came across this tutorial. Somehow, it doesn't matter. Please include it and I would be very thankful if you did. Oh, and before I forget, I did use a reference photo, obviously, for this painting. And this uh, reference photo came from a, a very good friend of mine. Her name is Anita Venema. And uh, sometimes I include her, her name in a video description. Because um, I like to do that when I'm using reference photos. Keep that in mind as well. You may want to refer to the original photographer for your reference photos. That is very important as well. I did forget to include it earlier on, earlier on in the video. But yeah, I, I used a, a reference photo from her and um, uh, for this lion painting. And I'm really, really happy I uh, may use... Uh, I, uh, allowed to use all of her reference photos because uh, they, she is making uh, some awesome photos so therefore uh, a big thank you and of course to all the other pho photographers who are watching this tutorial and uh, allowing me to use their photos a uh, big big thank you for now I'd like to thank you for watching and if you uh, uh, want you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and on my own website and if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and of course, if you like, please subscribe to the channel. I would really, really like that. For now, once again, thank you and I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye-bye.